Chrissy Mayer's podcast maybe has 250 listeners tops. Okay? <laughs> tops. She has a weird following. Um, well, it's a new show, isn't it? This is a red wet technique, so the first thing you want to do is get the canvas wet. Welcome to the Wet Spot. Boy, have we got an awesome show uh, for you guys today. Um, first, she is an adult uh, film actress. She has an amazing Instagram account all about being fit. It's called Killin', it's called Killin It Fit, K-I-L-L-I-N-F-I-T. And uh, I think an another Instagram account on your, own, on, on your own name, as well as an OnlyFans. Randy James is here. So excited to have you. Woo! Thank you. And uh, your the spelling always trips me up, so I have to like write it yeah, out phonetically. I saw the name. I wasn't Bobby. sure. <laughs> like Randy. Like, are you Randy, baby? Yeah, I've heard it all. Actually, no. that's that's it. That's there it. You go. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought Got Figs it. would see your name and be like, "What, Rajesh?" Yeah, <laughs> Randy. Oh shit, I thought it was like Rahindi, like yes, you know what that's I mean? what I, I get. Like, yeah. Rahindi, I get that one Rahindi. a lot. Yeah, yeah, and you're like, "Sorry to disappoint, I am a white chick." Okay, just <laughs> white. <laughs> and next we have uh, he has a podcast called The Pat Oates Show. He also has a book called How to Not Suck at Comedy. Pat Oates is in the house today. Yeah, Patty. My name's easy to read, and I've never been Indian once. <laughs> Pat Oates. Not Pat yet. Oates. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. I could be Pat Tell, maybe, and that could work out. So Patel Oates. And yeah. my partner in crime, my little greasy Sicilian Puerto Rican. <laughs> oh wow, you've added a house plant. Look at you, Mr. Mike Figs in the house. <laughs> Look at that shit. Look at that. Wow. You've really changed. Minutes, baby. I was online for 45 minutes at Home Depot to get that little son of a bitch plant. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy, yeah. There he goes. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard, but it was recently declared that SpongeBob SquarePants is gay. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Duh. I have so many questions. <laughs> like your house a, looks like a sex toy. <laughs> he put a flag up his ass in his movie. You know, really? Like, you saw oh, the movie? He, maybe I'm gay. I think I'm gay. <laughs> no, no I saw the movie. Ass. I saw the flag. His neighbor Squidward has been gay the entire time. I mean, that's not even a question. So gay. Squidward that's is the gayest gay. man alive. SpongeBob's yeah. probably just bisexual of anything. He just fucks whoever's around. He's a happy person. Just went, I, you know, I agree with that one. <laughs> not a good gay. He just goes with the gay. <laughs> and I'm, I love the gays. I love whatever anybody wants to be. But, like, he's a fucking sponge. Why does he have to be anything? Can't he just be a sponge? If anything, he should come out as a mode of birth control. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Why? Also, why, why get so many kids beat up right now by their homophobic fathers who just found out their kids watching gay cartoons? <laughs> I know yeah. you were gay and start slapping the whole time. Like, you made me watch this for 12 years. Yeah, you bought me the lunchbox, mom. And that same dad refuses to use sponges now, like to clean anything in the house. Like, oh, I got to get my straight sponges, you know? I told you, I, using, I told you cleaning was for women and gays. Get back in there and clean. We're using now, microfiber. Now I'm thinking about if Sandy's a lesbian. Well, you don't Sandy? have to think about that. <laughs> yeah, she's an astronaut. The I don't know straight had chicks. The astronaut. Oh, yeah. yeah. She was trying to get away from Dick the entire time. She was trying to fly to space. <laughs> <laughs> Randy, are you, Randy, are you in LA? Cheeks. He's a gay ass. No, dude. no. I'm, I'm, I'm and currently in Florida right now. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Wow. Yeah, like Things it. are open in Florida, right? Yeah, Florida's to to chill. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's still the, the mask people walking around. Are you a mask person? <laughs> Uh, I will. I will respect um, what people want, um, but I, I'm not going to wear mine by choice. It's yeah, America. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If I'm entering your venue, your place, you own it, and you want me to do that, I'll wear it. But I'm I not going to. Yep. I will not make anyone do that when they come into my place. Whatever, you be comfortable. Oh my God! Yeah. Thank God. That is just amazing. 
that's that's that, how I think most people are that way. It's just the yeah. scared people that are following everything going, Oh my it's the people that want to go out and have fun anyway. They're the ones wearing masks. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I, I think it's kind of I mean, I there's a couple articles that we're gonna talk about and one of them one of them mentions like it's just straight up wrong. And I'm trying to figure out if it's this New York Times, that's probably this fucking New York Times article, or this um, Los Angeles Times article, but they say like, oh, well, you can still catch it from person to person, which has been completely debunked. I fucking hate that word, but like the actual who, which I kind of mistrust in general, but the actual like World Health Organization said it's extremely rare to get corona from someone who's showing no symptoms. Yet, like, it's still being put out, like, today, middle of June, it's still being put out in articles that, like, well, you got to be careful, you know? No, like, it's clickbait. Totally. They want people to watch it. They want people to see it. They want people to be afraid, you know? You can, catch, yeah, you can catch anything from anyone. Yes. If you have a cold and we go, you know, I'm going to catch that fucking cold. It's a what risk that, that flu? we take. In yeah, ex exactly. In it's Florida. mostly just a new scare tactic. It's a way to say, hey, we can't scare them that we told them it was on surfaces. Then we go, oh, wait, it's not on surfaces. We told uh, you can get it this way. You can't. How do we scare these people to get them back inside? Let's say they can't fuck much. Let's say they can't get near each other. Let's just do Or say they can't can go out and them. boat. Right. Like, oh, if yeah. we can yeah. go and buy our groceries, we can fucking boat. We can go boat. Yeah. yeah. If you Dead can, people have if been you voting can... for years. Why can't we? Why can't we? <laughs> if you can loot a Jimmy Choo, you you can vote. <laughs> yeah. That should be the slogan. If Andrew Yang used that, he would have he would have moved on. If you can oh loot God. Jimmy Choo, you can vote for me. He should have just <laughs> ran under the name Jimmy Choo just for name recognition alone. He would have he'd still be Nobody in it. Known the difference. Yeah, I'm gonna vote for Jimmy Choo. It might Status. be Lululemon. We're both in. It's fine. Oh my God. Um, okay, so one of these articles, because uh, I wanted to talk about, like, as things are starting to open up, I, I know, Figs, I know you have a girlfriend that you live with. Mm -hmm. Randy, are you seeing anybody right now? Have you been seeing anybody throughout yes, the Rona? For five, I've been with one person for five years. Yeah. And you live with them, I assume. Yeah, we live together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what about you? And Pat, have you been, like, seeing anybody or seeing the same person? Started, started the quarantine in a relationship that was over a year, almost a year and a half, broke up during the quarantine. <gasps> Wow. Oh, no. but not, but not because of quarantine being together. It was happening anyway. A lot of stuff. You there. gave her yeah, corona. So the you last gave month, her corona, you motherfucker. I wish. I, I never, according to her, I never gave her anything else. So I might as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but yeah, but broke up during it. So I've been single for about a month, not even like so. Just kind of going through all of that stuff. So the, wow. the thanks for the article, Chrissy, of really going home about you should fuck people you live with. I'm like, I guess nobody. But I, I did not agree with that at all because like, <laughs> I read that too. One of these articles was like, you got to be safe if you're gonna fuck someone, fuck somebody in your household. I was like, excuse me, oh, like, wait, there's sometimes what? there's chill. There's sometimes there, yeah, sometimes there's kids in your house. Well, that's the thing. The Do you know incest has really gone you know? up? Uh, first of all, who's doing that study? But incest has gone up during the quarantine. They're like, well, I read an article and it said to fuck people in the house. Oh, so. They should really <laughs> specify. I if fuck you, Nana. Yeah, yeah. They should really she specify like if it. you live with lots of roommates or like in a communal like hostel type situation. Like, but I think like it's. I don't think it's good. Just be like, yeah, anybody in your house because what if your family? That's gonna be bad. Um, this, also, what if they don't want it? What if they're not in the mood because they're scared because yeah, the world's consent. on fire? What about, fuck right now. What oh, about no, mutual? It's so deep. Yeah. <laughs> So here's this article by the New York Times came out, uh, okay, a month ago, still very topical. What single people are starting to realize this now applies to Pat, but you know what? That's, this is, you're, this is a really sensitive time for you. Cause it's like, did she have, was she living with you? Which yeah, we lived together. Yep. Yeah. So she's had to move all her, has she been moving her stuff out or have you been moving your stuff out? No, I'm, I'm saying here, the stuff's still here. It was, it, it's still in the process, and we haven't really seen her talk, but it, it really hasn't been messy or crazy or whatever. It's just what it was. But, like, yeah, I wouldn't think about – I'm not in a spot where I'd start dating or even in that mode in my mind yet. So, that to me, I wouldn't think – and if I ever did, I wouldn't video date someone. Then fuck you. That's lame as fuck. What are you doing? <laughs> Do you feel like – because it's really because to me if i were single i would be like okay maybe you know maybe one time because if i can have a conversation with you great but like more than that like you need to be face to face because if you don't feel like the zipping and the zapping like why continue 
Well, if you're putting it out there, you're not fucking worried. I'm sorry, but like, the people that are they're writing this for are people that aren't really dating. They're too scared to do anything anyway. Thirst is way stronger than fucking precaution. Oh, always. For sure. Damn the right. You want to get laid? You Thirsty don't bitches out masks there. anymore. I agree. I agree. The, the, both of these articles, which were like precautionary, you know, dating in the time of post-Rona, it's like, who are you writing these for? Like, most people are not out there being careful of just regular STDs that we've known about yeah. for decades. You know, you're kind of like, well, they're super hot. Let's roll the dice, you know? Like, yeah. most people are taking know. all of my bullet yeah. points here, girl. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, it's I amazing. Mean, the internet will pair... The, the right people with each other, like the people who are so cautious, I think that you're going to be able to find those other like, you know, germ freaks and shit. And other people who just want to fuck will go on Tinder and will yep. just start fucking. Yep. That's the beautiful thing about the internet. If you're worried about it, you can find other people who are worried. And Damn if you just want to get your fucking cock sucked or your titties tickled, you just go on the fucking internet. And first of all, if you can fuck someone while you're both wearing a mask, you're a psycho. I'm sorry. I'd be laughing the entire time. If you're butt naked with a mask and socks on, get the fuck away from me. There's no way my dick's staying hard while you're wearing a goddamn mask. That's weird. So I would never match up with a person that would wear a mask and be naked. There have been times that I've been having sex with someone where I wish I was wearing a mask because then I could do this. <laughs> You know, you can like make whatever faces you want and not turn around. That's, 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 that, that's why they invented doggy style. So you can just think about it. Do I look disgusted? You know what I mean? Like, I could be nah, making any face. You look great. You look like you're focused. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. That would be a turn on, though. I would Ready? like that when they're kind of putting through all the emotions. Happy or sad? Ready? <laughs> No, you're loving it right now. You still don't look bad. Still... Oh, shit. Yeah, but see, yeah, Chrissy, you look... There might be people... I look scary now. <laughs> you fucking this? No one's fucking this. <laughs> it's weird hanging out. It's, not it's very I'm weird. Unless you're I'm fucking Bane, you know, like Bane from the... What was that? Uh, Batman. Batman, yeah, like, hello. Don't <laughs> goff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bill de Blasio, the fucking worst mayor of all time, mayor of New York, suggested it's wise to skip a kiss. Yeah, no one's going to fucking, he hasn't kissed anybody in a very long time. He says, you are your safest sex partner. And Anthony Fauci, like, we're going to listen to him. <laughs> like, we've got to get sex advice from him. I uh, want everyone to jerk off at home like I've been doing for 63 years. <laughs> jerk off into I'm a repulsive. test tube. <laughs> jerk off into yeah. a test tube. Send yeah, it to I'm me. I'm a robot. Send it to me and Bill Gates. We <laughs> want your DNA. From you. oh, fuck that is. See, but if this, if this article happened before Louis, he could be like, I was being responsible. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was doing this for you. Social like, distancing. <laughs> that is I'm such so a good point. Randy, did Blasio. you hear, you, you, Randy, you know about like Louis C.K. He was like this, you know, very famous comic yeah. who got in a lot of trouble for like jerking off in front of girls who were like, yeah. just didn't leave the room yet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're somehow still I think still I victims. did hear that, yes. Yeah. Um, here we go. So, but because of all this, the, the, the dating apps have surged. Uh, messaging on Hinge has surged 30%. And since March, okay, Cupid subscribers have quadrupled. Okay, that's nice. I mean, if, if the one upside through all this is I think, any lingering kind of, uh, you know how some people might be like, oh, you met online and judge you for that. I feel like after this pandemic, I, I think that would be totally wiped away. Like any kind of weirdness about meeting somebody online. I think at, at that this was kind point. of almost going away. Like I don't do the online. I just, I just not me. It's not natural for me at all. I usually meet people weirdly enough at shows. I don't, I, I'll talk to them after I don't really try, but then I'll meet them at first. We'll message, we'll talk, whatever. And that's how we kind of get to know each other. But I could never imagine someone saying to me now, after all this, like, ew, you met online. It's more like, how did you meet someone not online? They how usually want to know person? that. But, yeah. Esther Perel from this article explained that this crisis uh, has become, and you're a perfect example of this, Pat, it's become a relationship accelerator. Unhappy marriages have lurched to div divorce. Young lovers have rushed to cohabitate even after a third date. And single people realize, I don't want to die alone. Wow, that's bleak. 
It, it, who can't? You always die alone. Even if you're dating someone, you died alone. I, didn't know, die I, I think there'll be nurses. You, like Benoit, you don't take them out with you. You yeah. die alone always. There's going to be nurses there, probably. <laughs> you died alone. Yeah. A doctor. Just say Chris Benoit. Ah, we tried they to They were there watching, her. but you died alone. Like, if a girl has an orgasm and I don't, she came alone. I was in the room, but I didn't come. Do you know what I mean? And she still died alone. I think we know your girlfriend, your girlfriend left. <laughs> she, was, yeah. no, she was orgasming and I was alone. But anyway, uh, so it's, no, I'm kidding. It's hard. It's hard to, you know, make everybody come, like, even in the same 15 minutes. I don't know. I maybe. feel it. I feel it. Um, yeah, people are paranoid, man. Every, you know, why are you going crazy? It's not like there's bombs outside going off like if people in israel and pa pakistan or whatever the fuck like if they're having wild sex there's bombs going off and everything and yes. they're not worried like we're over here panicking and it's like it's the same shit well, if you know. lived in minneapolis two weeks ago go for it you know what i mean i, I get yeah. it yeah, yeah i guess so pakistan have a good time but, but yeah but yeah, for the I most know. part the, the, the get, that's once again it's all this scare tax it's all these things of we're going to die the world is ending we'll never be better we'll never yeah, we'll not be back to be the same, but nothing's ever been the same. We always change every couple of years. We always, 10 years ago, we couldn't have this conversation on here. No one worried about it. They're just yeah. trying to scare people into, to keep them inside, to keep them divided. You can go out yeah. and fuck people soon. Be single. Work on yourself a little bit. I've been running and losing weight so my fucking bait of a body can catch better shit. I've been seeing your posts, Pat. You're sweaty. It's like your sweaty face and you look very intense. You're like, I yeah, you look ran, I'm bitches. Dying. I'm dying. I have sweaty and your balls. Voice, Come and get it. Your, your voice is <laughs> one octave away from Alex Jones. Like you're yes. this close to uh, I love him for wars. I'll take it. Oh, all yes. <laughs> at this point. <laughs> I think the way that this article is written is to kind of make people freak out because they're like, uh, even before this crisis, they're talking about how like modern dating seemed endless. We lived in a world of unlimited swipes, rare gems, and punted decisions. The more we meet, the more we struggle to connect and just commit to one. Um, the side effect of dating, you know, experts call it cognitive overload, where we per we we um, we value the options over valuing just the per the person in front of us. And they say that's been like a, you know, a big problem with dating or whatever. Um, but I still think that, you know, to me that sounds like, well, you gotta just pick someone and settle. Um, I think once things get a little bit more, even now people are still going to be reckless and like, fuck it. I'm, you know, if you're fucking horny and someone's yeah. hot, it's like, Damn it's right. very easy to not care yeah. about. And it's also like, this should not be written because the people that are reading this are in their like 20s 30s 40s younger healthy people that like want to get some dick they shouldn't be this article shouldn't be for us the people that are dying of the rona are in their 80s and they're they're getting nursing home dick already if they're if they're getting any at all you know what i mean like you know who this article is for this article is for the people that think relationships define them there are people out there mm, who don't yeah. feel like they're a person unless they have someone else with them so therefore yeah. they could they read this and go oh my god i oh, can't be love. alone then who am I? No one wants me. No one cares about me. But people like us who are outgoing and do stuff, we like to have people in our lives and share moments, but it's about us. We're the pretty princesses. Fuck them. So you we are don't really pretty, care. pretty oh, princess. Yeah. I'm, a pretty I'm princess, the new SpongeBob, bitch. So I'm in there right now. But no, but it's, <laughs> that's what it's for. It's for those people who feel like they need someone in their lives who've been told their whole lives, if you're not partnered up, then you're a fucking loser, you know? Interesting. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, it, I think we're going to be fine, obviously, because it says uh, this next point that I thought was pretty interesting. Da, da, da. Yeah, like you don't want to waste away your weeks and months virtually dating somebody only to discover in that first kiss there's zero chemistry. And if you're making people scared to even have that first kiss, then you're just like delaying the inevitable, which is finding out your, your true chemistry with somebody um yeah i don't so care about the kiss i'm just gonna be more turned on when the mask reveal has. like fuck tit pics i can't wait to be sent a chin pic to have the girl like move her mask down go yeah girl look at your chin like that's gonna be hot now because they have mouth <laughs> women with mustaches and cleft palates they're killing it right now because they look like normal humans they're, they're gonna keep the mask on. <laughs> that's that, gonna be the hot shit <laughs> what is that law called um where they have to keep their everything covered no it's like the uh, marshall or arts murphy's law 
No, Sharasa, Sharala, <laughs> the, law, the Sharala. You're talking, you're talking oh, about Sharia. the Oh, Sharia, Sharia law. Law. Sharia law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like that. It feels like it. Where you just have like your vagina hole showing <laughs> and your whole face. Um, that's wild. Um, okay, so this uh, Los Angeles Times article this was the one with like the this, it's always a it's always a sad man falling asleep with a with a phone on the pillow have any of you ever done that i don't know i'll have the phone like to the side even even when i was single i would be like no i don't i gotta get this fucking 5g away from my head um, years ago when i was dating a girl like half my age when i first got divorced years ago i mean not really half but like literally 10 years younger than me and she was a waitress at a comedy club we dated for a while she always wanted to talk and be like just keep talking till i fall asleep and then i would pass out just annoyed until so, yeah like then sometimes she's like i can hear, I'd hear her fucking pass out and start to like snore and i'm like i'd go to hang up she called me. i wasn't asleep yet i had to keep dealing with that so yeah, there I've that the phone is slept next to me because I was just like ready to kill myself. But not it's real manic in theory to like because yes. like the falling asleep talking to you. But one of you is always gonna fall asleep first, and then you're gonna feel like the asshole who didn't. Oh, I could have just fallen asleep at any point during the conversation. No one's falling asleep yeah. to my voice. Like I'm not yeah. soothing. Okay, this is not gonna be like a nice weak noise to fall back asleep to. It's like. <laughs> you yeah, know, I don't know. I've always been with chicks who are like, "Shut the fuck up! I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Stop fucking talking." Do you have their numbers like, still? Shut the fuck <laughs> up, I'm trying to come. <laughs> yeah, shut up, I'm trying to come, fatty. All right. Oh. See, oh, the oh, more oh. I read this Los Angeles Times article, the more I feel like it is also secretly pushing this, like, political corona agenda. Because even as they set this up, it sounds like, oh, like a fluffy social piece. Um uh, sex was the last thing on Joseph's mind in March, but then he went into quarantine in California. Um, a man he had already, they're like, Ooh, we're writing about a gay man. Look how cool we are. A man he'd hooked up with before uh, in the four times texted hoping to rekindle intimacy with someone familiar, but just didn't feel comfortable breaking quarantine yet, especially with this guy who was calling the coronavirus a hoax. It's like you, you act like that's a minority of the people, Los Angeles Times. It's like mo I think most smart people are going, yeah, this virus has been this so a hugely over fucking blown. Yes. And, um, Listen, Again, if, you're if a bunch of people fuck during AIDS, they're gonna fuck during this. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. and they did. A lot that's of people it. did. <laughs> you gotta tweet yeah. that. That's the ultimate thing. Yeah. That's oh, that's a, okay. That's the whole Pure thing gold. Done. Literally. I'll retweet it. it. Yeah, I, I, I made a, <laughs> I made a West Spot highlight. Hooray. <laughs> you do. You need to tweet that's that it. now before I do. Um, yeah, check. <laughs> I'll reach it for my phone. Yeah. People are gonna fuck. People are horny. People are cooped up in their house with their stuff. You know what, Chrissy? I'll get more likes if you They're tweet and quote me. Tell you the truth. Like, oh, I'll just dude, like, do it. Do the picture. Yeah, I'll retweet Chad, it. Chad Zumak, <laughs> fucking son of a bitch. Anyway, go ahead. Chad. Chad Zumak is this because oh, Rudy has no clue what is. the fuck is going on. Chad Zumak is this comic who, like, he was always in the like the periphery. You know what I mean? Like when you you have fans and someone else has fans, and sometimes those people meet in the middle in the Venn diagram of life. You know, it's like I never met this guy. He lived. He was in like New York for. He's been doing comedy. He's like forty six years old, been doing comedy like since before any of us were born. You know, like I think he sort of was with Kevin Brennan, this other this other comic, and then. Uh, you know, I heard of him like the first time I heard of him because he was like shitting on Stacey Pressman, which is like, which is another comic that like we're all friends with, which is like a compound media, uh, like friend of the show, whatever. And so I was like, fuck this guy. He's uh, he's shitting on Stacey Pressman like uh, this won't stand. And then uh, he started shitting on me, too. And then I don't know, I guess we made up. He's like, you got to do my show. And I was like, OK. And I was like at a weekend. This was in April. I was at like a weekend away with my boyfriend. Like we went during the, the Rona to like Pocono Palace to have like a heart-shaped tub type night but I brought my lights and stuff because I was like no I have to do this interview with Chad Zumach so I took out like an hour to do it and it was like fine and he, he's kind of like manic and very self-destructive and and like very much all over the place he thinks everyone's out to get him all the time uh which is like you know, it's hard for me to spend a lot of time with somebody like that because I like to think, you know, there's unlimited opportunity in the world. You're not truly in, in competition with somebody else. Like, we are our own worst enemy. We are in our own way. And, like, you know, every Yeah, he sounds like 90% of unsuccessful comics. Every yeah, person you see, if someone triggers you, it's like that's some unresolved shit with you. It's like, yeah. you, like every relationship is a mirror. And so he was like, very negative right off the top but i was like i'll still do his show no hard feelings like cordial polite and then out of nowhere he went on a podcast and said like 
they were shitting on compound media um because you know keith just left and people were like oh well this is what they need to do to fix things i i didn't know things needed to be fixed apparently people who you know don't have a show on the network always know best um and so <laughs> and so chad was like they gotta cancel they gotta cancel chrissy's show and then it was just like crickets like nobody was agreeing with chad and then the next day someone put a clip of it online and i was like wow chad really you know and then it was just back and forth like kind of all day but he's somebody who i think just starts shit just to have engagement mm -hmm. just to have people exactly at him. sounds like someone wants your attention chrissy as a person yeah. who about a year ago started be getting on compound and getting around the compound fans in the circle and all that and being a guest on a bunch of shows and getting to do a pilot, you start to get that feel sometimes where like, oh, everyone likes me. I'm important. You feel good. Kumi is talking to you. You're getting to be on In Hot Water, your show, all that. You can either roll with that and try to build it into something or you could all of a sudden, the second they stop giving you attention you start losing your mind. And a lot mm -hmm. of the comics I've watched do that. They get crazy. They start trying to do every angle they can to get you and everyone else to talk about them so they get back and get attention again that they oh, wow. miss. Like for me, hey, don't burn I, was bridge, told, man. I was told shoot a pilot and then they said, hey, right now there's problems with the tech and the app. Can you hold off? So when that was about to end, they went, hey, there's a coronavirus. We're all going to die. Can you hold off? And I went, right. fine. And they went, Just hey, Keith left. Can you hold off? And the in the meantime, like the I've been on a bunch timing. of shows. Yeah. They've taken care of me. And if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And I move on and work something out. Some people like Chet, not that I know him at all, but you can see it. He wants that love again. He wants those mm. fans. He wants Jim Stansel in his window staring at him and shit. He needs that. So, like, he, they, they, they can't get that. They try to fight with you because <laughs> you're going to talk about it. Even if they're getting yelled at, they're getting attention. And then Brennan turns and goes, well, then I got your back. So he feels loved by someone. You know what I mean? Uh, I feel bad for him. I really feel bad. Girlfriends. Yeah. That's all. Because I don't have any beef with him. Like, I, uh, well, I unfollowed him on Twitter just because I was fuck like... Fuck him! No! Fuck him! Now we got beef, Well, yeah, yeah. I see Chad Zuma. Of course, fuck I'm throwing, him. I'm throwing hands at that motherfucker. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you got your hair gelled like the outsiders. You're ready to yeah, fight. I'm ready, I'm ready to take a switchblade and stab this honky fuck. But I'm... Okay. Right. West Side he's, Fix he's, is ready to fuck you up with that hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to give him my fucking jazz hands, bring my plants, and fucking start kicking some ass. You could grease Come your whole body here. just from what's on your head, you know, just like take yeah. your shirt off and just grease your chest so that you're I less would, uh, grabbing. Definitely. I would never fight a man who brought a plant to a fight. I'd be like, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> Bring like, my fucking this is a ficus. <laughs> yeah. You know, he needs to hang out with Mead. You know Aunt Mead on, on Twitter? Yeah. Matt I think Mead. he just needs, yeah, Matt Mead, show. there you go. Great He's job. my friend and I got his name wrong. He's my friend. I think but this is the thing is, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lose any sleep like in the, in in the, in the terms of like what matters and what doesn't this does not matter i'm still zen i'm still like he's a he's a fuck boy for sure but like no hard feelings i'm not gonna like waste energy about it um i just think it's like very sad because he's very self-destructive and uh i think if he would just shift a little away from being negative towards other people and like negative towards himself like his his cre like we're all creative people right like when you focus on self on yourself and, and feeding yourself and in whatever your input is right whether that's like self-care reading music masturbating um writing painting whatever like if you're taking care of your input and if you're a naturally creative person like your output is gonna come you know what i mean like you may not be in control of like how much or what mm -hmm. form but like you do have control of what you put in you don't always have control yeah. of what oh, comes out yeah. of you and it's like he is just he's got to rewire because he's but just like said, how oh other people are fucking me how can i get what i want from other people when it's like you have to feed yourself right but like you said at the very beginning that he's very manic and when, when our comedy comes through kind of who our personalities are you know I'm, yeah. I'm, I, I i i amp it up a little bit but i'm loud i'm outspoken no filter all that we all do our own thing unfortunately that helps me in some comedy but i have to pull back and realize it and take a run and do other things to calm it down in other situations <clears throat> Some people can't control who they are on off stage. And if you're manic on stage, you might also be manic in life and not be able to handle situations and take a step back and go, is this the right thing to do? He could have messaged mm -hmm. you and said, hey, Chrissy, you want to have a fake beef? And we could do it on Twitter. And have fun. Oh, Bob yeah. Would have played along, and he could have been on this show instead of me right the fuck now and had a good time. Never. Never, Pat. No, but nobody yeah. comes before you. Know, <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm saying is, you know what I mean? There was a way to plan it to keep going. Because this is, at the end of the day, if he didn't do it for attention, then he is insane. If he did this because he's really just mad and a scorned lover from Compound, then, like, 
it's holy shit turn off your internet you don't allow it you shouldn't have i it. only have one of those so yeah <laughs> michael no, no, gavin no. ali to him, yeah. sleep with everybody. happy birthday oh uh, yeah i've had so much time to sleep with everyone in the five years of dating the same guy yeah that's why I like, it's such a big eye roll. Anytime I'm like, you fuck dudes for stage time. It's like, uh, oh my God. Okay. Like, like, least... I dress like Greta Thunberg. I'm obviously not trying to fuck. You yeah, know? like I'm often yeah. wearing a cardigan. Um, anyway. You're being the bigger man, Chrissy. You're more I, successful uh, and you're being the bigger man. It's the, it's the right you thing to do. You have a show that you he... built and really built from, from like a spark part where they get to watch the beginning and watch now and how it's changed. And now you've moved on and done other podcasts. Other You keep doing new things all the time. People get jealous of that. They do one thing and then they think everyone's going to give them stuff. You keep trying to grow it. Most people during this quarantine either try to learn new things and build stuff. I never used Zoom. I, wasn't, I didn't have a Patreon. My podcast was doing once a week. I kept building things. All, you did the same thing. Your everyone's podcast logo build. was just a weird cartoon. <laughs> It's a cartoon that somebody, a cartoon somebody made of me for an album that uh, <laughs> an album I have coming out. So I was proud of the fact someone made that to, to, to make an animation of the album. So I, I kept working on things. But some people are sitting there just going, "Why is no one calling me? Why is no one loving me? Why aren't I on a show? Why aren't this?" Mm -hmm. And they just self destruct. And that's it's all that so was. Easy and you're doing a you're there. doing a great job. You're doing you a great are. job, Pat. I love your Patreon, but I really love your OnlyFans. I think that it's, that's it's hot. It is <laughs> underrated. I just like, fuck people wearing SpongeBob outfits, going not gay, but now I gotta change it. <laughs> but Pat, you really do have the right attitude. Like, yes, uh, like everyone would love for your show to get picked up, but like that's that's out of our control. Like, if it happens, great. If it doesn't, like, guess what? You're gonna be on to something else, and yeah. you're cult you're already cultivating your fan base, and you're you're creating. You're not letting. It's like we all um like if you're a fucking ocean right and it's like it flows into different streams and the streams are like you know creative avenues or or like income right like it's like you're not if one is blocked off you're a fucking ocean man you're gonna flow into five other things but if you stop and stagnate well guess what mosquitoes are gonna form <laughs> you don't want, and you don't want mosquito. At the end of the day, malaria will get at the end of that Christy said malaria is gonna get you Zumox so fuck malaria? off get malaria. <laughs> I don't no, know. You're chicken right. ass, baby. I sound no, like I've smoked like a lot of pot, else. but I haven't. Right. No one knows what <laughs> avenue you're going to go down. I didn't know what you were going to do a show. You didn't, five years ago, did you think you'd have a show on combo? No, you, that wasn't even no. a lane. That wasn't a lane you knew existed. You work hard, things open up. You never know where you're going to go, but then. I got to do the pilot. If I don't get to do it on Compound, I'm going to keep working on the show, put on YouTube, build. I enjoy it while doing other things. I learned a new thing that I like doing. And that's what I, I'll take it from that. We only get so many opportunities. I think it's just the people that get handed things. And I'm not saying I don't know him personally, but a lot of people just either. get handed things. Yeah. He gets to be on Kumi. He gets to be on this thing. And then they're like, well, where's my next thing you hand me? It's like, no, you've got to – people can open a door for you, but if you don't keep that fucking door open yourself, you're going to drown. Randy, do you find any of this um, like ringing true for the porn industry? Do you find like there's it ultimately comes down to your own kind of entrepreneurial spirit? You know, like if like right, right now, probably still all the major studios are shut down. Correct me if I'm wrong, but like I know things are opening up more like in Nevada and uh, like I know Vegas, the casinos are back open. It's like, are there still some, you know, you're not allowed to shoot or it's like, you can take it amongst yourself. If you get together with somebody and you're both cool, you can work. I think, I think there's, there's um, becoming more independent girls doing their own things now more than ever. But I, I think people still really like shooting for big companies. Um, and I think I actually saw a tweet that um, said, uh, porn's opening up. Who wants to fuck my brains out? I was like, oh, so the porn industries, they must be starting to shoot again. But I do know what I did see the other day is how big the virtual reality is booming. You really? Know? And yes, these companies are hiring girls to do shows right on their camera in their house. They take that and then they put it on their platform. I'm sure they pay the girl to do it. Um, but I also see that girls are, are really, they're do, using this they're taking advantage of this OnlyFans platform and really becoming entrepreneurs. And like you said, this OnlyFans can open the door, but what, what do you do with the fans? Uh, are you going to now like start a brand or are you going to, what are you going to do with that? That all these fans, um, cause you don't, I would assume most of us don't want to do porn forever. Um, I don't mind it. I want to be a MILF before I retire, but I mean, I definitely got, you know, but, uh, 
I don't think yeah, you're a fucking up you're a fucking piece, Randy. You're a fucking yeah, smoke you're a show. Piece. Thanks. Give, what's your oh. What's your OnlyFans? I'm about to give you my mom's Quicksilver Capital One card <laughs> right now because hey. I want to be a member. You well, you're all hustled. Good. You're gonna be broke by the end of this fucking <laughs> quarantine. My mom's face. gonna be broke. <laughs> but how many, you know, how many I, girls only fans are going to turn into cooking shows real quick when they're like i don't know what to do and they're just top with making pancakes i'll yes. still watch it it's like, <laughs> randy what kind of stuff do you like to do on your only fans is it like is it shit you, you like to do or is it like request based i don't listen i don't i don't take requests you know i just do what i want to do and i think i think my fans love it now i i do like to throw in like hey what do you want to see and I may or may not do their suggestions um, because some people are just got too crazy of stuff. But I really enjoy like just doing what I'm doing in my normal life, but including some, uh, you know, rinketing. So like going kayaking and Ooh, I came I on just a kayak for so the first that. time you today. You seem like off. an outdoorsy kind of chick. I, I can imagine you in a film no where pants. you're blowing your boyfriend and he's like picking apart an M13. Or something like that. You got that. You got that vibe where there's guns, American yeah. flag. Yes. yes. Yeah. I, I don't know. My my stuff's super basic, but I mean, I uh, I definitely like doing like weird out, outdoor adventurous stuff. You know, like not necessarily public stuff, but like being able to be like I'm outside. You know. <laughs> Like take that, New York and California. Yeah, I yeah. This makes directed porn. I like the I like the the plot twist you went with. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? He's, I gotta clean my gun. Hold Figs, on. if you directed porn, there would be feet in every single scene. Oh, like there would be feet in places there wouldn't be feet. And someone at Target, you're like, where'd these bare feet show up? I want to see the cameraman's feet. I want to see everyone's feet. I I hiked Bear Mountain today, and I pissed, and I and I had to pee so bad. And I, I found like a little crevice in a rock and I started peeing. Wait, is hiking Bear Mountain like some gay code? <laughs> <laughs> I went hiking on Bear Mountain with SpongeBob and Patrick the other No, and, I, and these chicks behind me, they were like, is he really pissing on the mountain? They were like, is that guy pissing? And then another girl was like, oh, I wish I could do that. Like it was, I don't know. This is, this is where this outdoor porn is coming from. I, wanna, I want you to have sex on Bear Mountain, Randy. I'll have to check it out. Okay. <laughs> I had sex once in a hiking situation. It wasn't cute. I just kind of get, I got bent over a rock and it was like, you know, it wasn't really great for me. I like the idea of public sex. Maybe it's just like wrong person, wrong time. But I just was like, ow. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Were you wearing hiking you shoes? Place where you could hike and then like, it was all woods and then it would open up, there'd be like this field in the middle of all these woods and this like hiking trail thing. And it was at night and that was years ago. I was like, just out of high school, whatever. And we got to that area and we got a blanket and everything. But the second like pants came off, mosquitoes are biting. It sucked. It was like, yeah. it was not fun. And it, it's the same thing as shower sex. It seems fun, but it's a lot more work at the end. You're like, oh, we could have just regular fucked. <laughs> I was so scared that like gnats were gonna fly in my pee hole. It was really, it was oh, very God. uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, yeah, I had, to piss, I had to piss. I had to piss so fucking badly. Yo, Randy, I, I want to piggyback on your virtual reality thing. I oh, actually yeah. tried the. I tried the virtual. Re I had the the headsets for my PlayStation. I, I live with my mother. I'm a virgin, and I had it. I had them on, <laughs> and and I did the uh the, like on Pornhub. I went on like the Pornhub virtual reality, and it's fucking sick. It really is sick. Yeah. Because yeah. you can. You know, whatever's happening in the main area, you can just like venture on and like look around. When did this come and, out? Like, this technology. It's been out for a minute. If you oh, go wow. on Pornhub and yeah, and you'll see it right there. It looks. It has like it's like double. Yeah. It's like the the image. Is can you like put double. on like a virtual reality thing on your penis so it feels like you're fucking? I don't go that far. My mother's, my mother's credit limit isn't that high. It is a capital <laughs> one. Uh, when she gets that American Express, then maybe I'll get the the suck. You just kind of five thousand. Stretched my brain a little bit. Like maybe they can do that. <laughs> What's in your <laughs> wallet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. A flashlight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, at it's the end still, of the day, I think still jerking off. I don't think it's like you now want to like space fuck some robot. I still, I just, now you just feel like it's even more. Some people just like that. I know a bunch of people only watch porn when it is, if it's a POV where it's them and they don't even see anything more. Like, Randy, I don't know if you've done this, but it's weird to watch a girl lay out of bed and you know she's not really fucking and she's just going, uh, uh, and, like, and then I know, but people watch that. They're just like, well, doing there's the always a real dick, arms. Though. And that's going to be you fun for you because. A dildo. I mean, that's gotta be fun for no, you're just sitting there. Fun for you. Like, I'm not really working. I'm kind of just laying around and just having yeah, a good time. That's acting. It's like super. But there's people are in all Japan. Gone. Sorry, keep going. Right. This is Zoom lag. Zoom lag is fucking <laughs> pisses yeah. me off. I can't me wait too. to be in front of each other. 
I finished, I was going to talk about Japan. They got those fuck dolls. They have fuck vending machines. They have all that stuff. You put your penis in a little hole and, it, and it's pink and gooey. And what? these guys, what? oh, I've seen those. You, what? Yeah, they have machines. You could do virtual reality and you could touch fucking plastic tits. Mm-hmm. And, it's, and you're having sex with like a tree goddess or something. Japan it, is it's kinky. in Japan. Japan, they're kinky as fuck. They don't like violence, but they, they will fuck a schoolgirl. In they will game. buy panties. <laughs> they will buy panties. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Pat. I'm sorry, pal. Oh, it's fu- Listen, I'm not following that. Uh, but obviously, they don't <laughs> like violence because they're too tired fucking schoolgirls to fight. You know what I mean? It's like it's a lot of work to fuck a tree goddess. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How do they shoot a virtual reality porn? Because I was part of one virtual reality comedy show that they shot, and it was like kind of weird. Like, who? I- I feel like that's a misuse of virtual reality is for a comedy show because it's like you could just go like that's not risque or like fun or horny. I mean, I feel like virtual reality for porn is makes more sense than doing it for comedy because you're like, ha ha, just who cares if you're like well, there the or not? Like, it was, looked like a oh. regular camera, but I wonder what it's like how it's shot for porn. I I, I got a story. Um, I honestly think I I I remember when I pulled up, they said virtual reality. And this is, um, I would say 2013. And I show up to this place and I'm like, okay, I'm going to be doing a scene with a regular talent that I've already fucked before. And Mr. Um, Marcus. No. <laughs> what was it Mr. Marcus? Or Alexis and Steel? No, it was, it was Chad White. <laughs> oh, okay. Chad, Chad Zumach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he well, changed his name. <laughs> so this is some weird shit though. Okay. So what I went in was like a little mini like wrestling ring, but there was cameras all around. I mean, there was probably over 20 cameras hitting all angle, all green screen around. So whatever I did and whatever we did that scene, I honestly still haven't watched the scene. It'd be kind of interesting to try to find it. Um, But there's like 20 cameras all the way around. There's one on top. Um, and you're just fucking on this thing, and I'm sure they could put you wherever they want to put you. I could have been yeah. on like the entire the state building for all on the moon on the moon. Um, so it was that sounds crazy. like the real deal. That sounds yeah. like the real stuff. That's how they're making a lot of the games and everything, where you could actually yeah. move around and, and look see anywhere them you want. All yeah. over. It was really weird. It was wild, and we had to do stuff really, really slow. Wow. Um, it just wasn't regular like sex. It was complete acting and complete like you're mm-hmm. doing this to create a virtual reality. Ah, that's it was weird. It Do was you feel cool. like the yeah. slower acting like took something like took you out of it? You know, like I'm I'm sure with some porn you lose yourself and you're genuinely like in it and enjoying it. I mean, I'm sure like they're I assume they're not all gonna be like the best time ever and there's some acting, but did yeah. you feel like the the process of shooting VR made it more acting and less like you know what you know what the, the acting is like this like let's just say it's like it's like you're looking into my eyes and you're like and we have to go slow so it's like we just kind of look in each other's eyes and just have fun in that moment so like it kind of creates pat, don't say anything pat pat don't say anything let her keep talking <laughs> let her finish this scene keep going randy keep going wait wait you think i can yes. even hear you right act now it out. <laughs> hey, randy, this is important. Up, up. get out of my dream <laughs> this is important act it out like what you would do and what the viewer would see but it's like okay so we'd be doing doing it or whatever and like you'd be like, slow and then we'd just be like and then we just like kind of laugh while looking into each other's eyes like yeah this is stupid but yeah this is fun you know <laughs> so you kind of like just I, it's kind of as a turn off, but you kind of like no, and it's always a plus if if you're into that other person a little bit or a lot, either one. You know. Is your husband a, an actor as well, a porn a porn star actor? Yeah, he is. He's just never shown his face. He's he's a, a POV king or Ooh, whatever. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I bet you I could recognize his piece. Let me just see his piece. <laughs> I don't Wait, have no, his, yeah, I was gonna say I don't have anything <laughs> to show. Like, <laughs> just get him out of the room. He's probably playing Call of Duty Warzone. Just tell him to come in and just take his cock out for two seconds, and I bet you I'd be able to. Yeah, point yeah, him you out. guys probably would know him. He had a really high. <laughs> he had a really good sight for a little bit, but Ooh. some shit popped off. So, <laughs> if Figs got it right, it'd be the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Sins. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my God. I read about this thing recently that sometimes happens in porn, which I had no idea was a thing. Is that like sometimes after a shoot, um, maybe the camera guy or the director or like someone else involved that's not your other talent will tr- will make a move and really try to like yeah i had no idea that that was a thing oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. i've had multiple that's... directors try to fuck me all the time like like and... cut and then they move in yeah they move like in that? they're like what yeah i swear it's like they think i mean <clears throat> sure sometimes girls are just epic sluts um i'm a businesswoman sorry <laughs> but Hell yeah you know, and they really love those epic sluts. They really love them, and they will give them the more work, and they will. Wow, it, it's, it's like just, fucking Hollywood. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's it's the same thing. And yeah, you know, it's it weirder that it's after. That's the ball. That's the weirder part. Like, yeah. I, both. Yeah. Are wrong, but you would think. The give director, her a break. Like, but you think yes. the director, like, if you want to be in this movie, then you know, fuck me first. But like now, you just got in the like. I don't need to fuck you. I was just in the movie. Well, it's for I future work, it. right? It's for like. Part two. Yeah. <laughs> Directors do have a lot of say and like pull and like who they hire, like who they get to, to, to hire for the scene. So if they like a girl specifically because they know they're going to get their dick sucked, they're going to have her back. So it's usually dick sucking, not like full on well, sex. Or does it- <clears throat> you know, and I know you know this, um, girls, like even after scenes are done, even the male talent that they, they just got done fuck, still want to continue to fuck the chick. Really? And it's to me, not, I would take that as a compliment. <laughs> it is. It, it is. But it's like, it's like uh, and some girl, and see, this is a thing, um, and it taints for the rest of the girls. Some girls are really into that guy and would want to fuck them or would want to suck the director's dick or would want to like, hey, you all want to fuck this now off camera. And, and, and there is nothing wrong with that. But there's also chicks that's like, uh, no, no. Um, not at all like you need to pay me and i've got shit to do which sucks because that's that should be the norm because this is a business you did a job the norm should be like what i have to go there's no fucking hr department just like there's not in comedy you're left to handle it your own self and it's almost like oh you're not cool the more business like you are like you're not you know you're not like uh fun no you aren't cool you're shunned i was shunned that's why i started working for myself i was like yeah fuck these motherfuckers (laughs) That's so strange. I would imagine that there's some sort of like contractual agreement that you like sign beforehand. Like if you guys try to do anything, like can't you sue those motherfuckers if they try to, if they make you feel uncomfortable? Sure. But you need money to sue. Mm. Unless you'll be sucking your lawyer's dick too. Oh um, God. How, I, how ironic. Jesus. It's the suck truth. A dick to not suck a dick. This is crazy. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm serious. I mean, if, especially if you don't like, if you're in it to like, you really don't have a lot of money and you're doing porn now or whatever, wow. you're not financially literate. That's, you're still fucking working at a McDonald's job. You yeah, that's the cure for Corona. Literate. You just got to suck the doctor's dick. <laughs> corona. <laughs> now I know what to do if I ever get COVID nineteen. Now we know hey, who come gets here, go the fucking test. Suck your dick. <laughs> but I like also, it. Oh, I was gonna say. Also, let me see if I I can remember this. Um, also, that's where the problem in porn lies, where these girls feel like they're getting raped because they're they are into the male talent, but they're like, I just got fucked. Like I don't want to do it, and they don't know how to say no. Uh, and like then all of a sudden like five months later they're like oh shit like i realized i did get raped because i didn't really want it but you know so that's coming out hard right now and these girls are making a stand i'm not sure it's gonna make a big voice or not but it's it was happening and i'm sure it's i'm sure like if five months later you're going oh this made me feel uncomfortable it's it, it is hard because people will say why didn't you say something sooner and it's mm-hmm. so tricky because you're that's the industry you're in people there's probably a lot of people that go well i guess you shouldn't be in porn because if you're not down with all this i guess you know go work at a bank um it's hard because i don't know what it's like like i've never done that but i understand it's like an innately female trait to be like appeasing people pleasing don't want to make waves no conflict especially when your superiors and your authorities and people paying you are men it's like yeah and especially I would be an epic slut is what I am saying. 
I actually own <laughs> epicslut.com. <laughs> but, Let me write that down. Pat. <laughs> write that down I would actually make it a solo slut site. I would never, I'm never paying another girl. Like, hey, you want to be featured and you want to get the promo, have it. But I will never pay another girl to shoot a scene for me because basically it's sex trafficking nowadays and you can get fucked. Like, it's really? bad. Yes. Um, Yes, I don't know how the companies are still paying chicks legit, but if you're paying a chick to come film a porno and you fi- buy that flight, you're definitely sex. That's considered wow. sex trafficking. But um, it's like you could without, be flying them without in getting legit. into it. There's yeah. um like there's a lot of shit going on um, about controversy about um, realgirlsdoporn.com. You can look at look it up if you want, and maybe make another podcast about it. But I think it's an unfair justice out there saying because these girls like okay, so these people are telling you, oh, your video's only going to be on DVD and it's only going to be shown in uh, Australia. The girl still comes, takes the money, does the whole for, full porno, and then sees her video on Pornhub. <gasps> Wow. wow i had no idea that was happening it's happening it happened to me a long time ago one of my very first pornos uh, i was stupid enough to think yeah it's only going to be seen in canada yeah fucking right that's the reason why i chose the stupid name randy i didn't even real i didn't want to be looked up i wanted to be t- the furthest from anybody finding it that is not how it works how do you that's- come to the agreement though do they give you like a paperwork is there like some yes. sort of contract the girl every single girl will get videotape saying hi uh what is your name i am blah 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 i'm randy james i'm here today i'm sober and i'm doing this video with consent they have it all on that they're doing a full-on porno but if if you're that naive as a a girl and i know you're not that stupid like you Mm -hmm. you're you know uh, but uh, but there's a class action going on against that site that site's gone it was affiliated with like mom pov um which is what my my boyfriend owned mom pov and they both, both those sh- sites got shut down and then the lawyers and stuff were coming after us. Like, uh, and, and they got actually the people who were working for the sites got picked up by ice for sex trafficking because they paid the chicks and flew Whoa. them out. Oh, there. Um, so I don't know how anybody else is getting away with it or whatever. I'm batshit scared. He's scared. We're like, we're not ever paying another chick. It's all trade now. Unless wow. I'm, I'm hiring a girl to do a solo shoot for EpicSlut.com. <laughs> I'm, or I'm, available. I'm available. <laughs> do, you think, do you think a lot of women... <laughs> look at hilarious. God, Chrissy, do that shit. Do you think a lot of a women get into porn for the wrong reasons? 100%. Like a lot of young, yeah. But yeah, because yeah. bless our hearts, we all, like you say, uh, you guys are so amazing. Every, all three of you are brilliant i couldn't even i didn't even want to chime in i just wanted to listen you guys are amazing so with that being said absolutely girls are getting into this for the wrong reason because i meet girls all the time when i was hiring them at one point for my to work with me for my site and i'm like i drill them why do you want to get into porn why do you want to shoot porn why what what's your goal here um Mm -hmm. and and most of them come back it's like 50 50 and some are little bad bitches, but like you said, man, it's a dirty slope with this self-destructive mentality. And these girls with like self, you know, depression, like, and I, I'm a, been a victim. I've been a victim, but if you can't pull yourself out of that under everything y'all, y'all said in the beginning of this whole thing and just like realize this is life. Like, Hey, look, you've got to be in your own lane, shine your own fucking light, um, make your own opportunities happen you're, you're going to get eaten up alive by yourself, by your own thinking and thought process. Because I, I remember the first time a dick came out that I was sucking on the internet. My mom and dad saw it. I was like mortified. Oh, no. I was mortified. <laughs> but, but then I was like, my mom goes, my stepmom, she was like, well, when people call me and they say, hey, do you know what your daughter's doing? She's like, uh, yeah, she hasn't asked me for a dime. My daughter's there you go. on her yeah. own. She's successful. She's not an alcoholic. She's not a drug addict. She makes money. My bit, my, I paid for them all sorts of crazy shit. They can't, wow. you know, it's like a respect thing. And it doesn't matter if that's in any field. That's in any field. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Did your dad point to the dick and go, Chad White? And he knew right away. <laughs> <laughs> I just pray that my dad never, ever brings that shit up with me. He knows better. <laughs> well, good for See, them for not being awesome. judgmental and like not, yeah. you know. 
The more yeah. girls in porn I interview, it, it feels like sometimes, sometimes 50, 50 in terms yes. of like parents accepting you and not, but I feel like the more outspoken of a, like the better adjusted you are, it seems the more like well, your parents have supported you. This, my stepmom, I love her, but this bitch put me through shit when I was like 14 or 15. She already talked like I was going to end up pregnant and a drug addict, like my real mom. And then I was like, oh yeah, I got to prove this bitch completely wrong. And yeah, then, that's what we all do. I'm going to yeah. go suck cock for money. I'll is. prove you're on. It's like, yeah, <laughs> well, then I went on and did it. And then she's like, yeah, but at least you're not on drugs. And at least you aren't yeah. pregnant. And at least you do make bank, make more than I do. So I'm like, yeah, yeah mom, I make more than you, bitch. So what? It's very similar Let's to Let's go to the you movies. Know, think about how many young people <laughs> come in and they have no game plan. They just do it because they want to be famous. They don't know what they're going to do. They A like the attention. Way. They like the validation. But then they do dumb things. They do the wrong choices. Did they get used yes. by people that are the bringers. They get money. Yes. People taking their money and stuff. It's the same thing in all entertainment. If you don't really stop and think and ask a lot of questions, you're going to get, like, you fucked. You know, that's what happens. Yes. It's easy to go with the flow and, and just, like, say yes to everything. But what's helped me so much – God, and I think I – this is going to sound crazy, but I learned this with an interview with Lenny Dykstra, who has done more drugs <laughs> – <laughs> and, 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 and speaks more slurred than anyone I've ever done an interview with. I was blown away to get this uh, magnificent nugget from that uh, conversation. He was like, he's like, every decision I've ever made in my life, ever since I started playing baseball, which for us would appeal to like, write comedy, porn, whatever your dreams are. I look at every single decision in my life, go, is this going to get me close to the major leagues? Or is this not? And if you keep that focus in mind, like, is this going to get me closer to my goals? If you look at every single decision that way, whether it's getting up in the morning to go run, whether it's cleaning up your room, whether it's, you know, buying these shoes or not, or, you know, whatever it is, it, any, in any facet of your life, it's like, it almost like it's a, it's a nice simplification and it keeps you on track. If you think of all of your decisions that way, it's like a nice thing that keeps you like grounded with what you want and even on the days where like nothing's happening and things aren't coming together you can still go okay like i did these four things and i'm like going there you know but then the big thing is to I also extra. like randy's doing and i find myself doing i'm sure you guys do too you see a young comic making wrong decisions don't be so self turn to them and ask them the questions why are you doing this what is yeah. your goal why are you who is that person you're dealing with? Find out. Don't just say yes to every producer, every show put on, everything like mm. that. Ask questions who they are. Find out why a lot of people aren't working with them. Why Why are they asking yeah. you to give them money? You shouldn't have to pay for shit. Why? But people are afraid. They, they get mad because they're like, well, they, they're believing in me. Because as comics, as performers, we all want someone to believe in us. And we don't listen yes. to logic a lot. So it helps with people like us to turn and just talk to them and say, hey, listen, Go that route if you want, but realize there's a reason why most people aren't going there. There's no shortcuts mm, yeah. to get anywhere. Yep. Good for you to like even look out to help people. Like I, I find like, I don't know, I think I, in the last few years, like people have attacked me for, not like attacked, but like chat on me online for like making fun of this comic or that comic or pissing off Asians or whatever. So I almost <laughs> feel like if someone <laughs> wants to work with me or like go on the road with me, it's like, oh, cool. You're like not worried about like being judged you're not worried about like okay and at this point i almost feel like if you work with me then you're not worried of, you know you don't you're not trying to be like or any of us like compound media people right like you're not trying to be pc you're not trying to be like woke you're not like oh i have to like suck comedy central's dick you know because like that's my trajectory um i don't know what my point was there well, you should have said you don't want to priss any Asians off. That's how they would say oh, it. Oh, no. boy. New there's hey. there, there was a chink in your armor. It's fine. You did oh, it. boy. It's a callback to it. Shane Gillis <laughs> got fired from SNL for... And became way more mind. famous and made tons of money off it. So good move, Shane. Hell yeah. Uh, Aw, yeah. I thought you said you were pissing on Asians. I was like, oh. No, I, I, I pissed mountain. them off. They thought I... I like, That's they... a water sport. You've been reading the uh, Mark Madness too much. You can't tell because they're already yeah. yellow. You know what I mean? You can't oh, even God. tell. Oh, there we go. All right. Woo, <laughs> hot takes. <laughs> tell me, man, speaking of Asians, got to go to Japan and one of those cock vending machines. Uh, that's my goal. That's like that's on my fucking list. fuck a machine you thing? You tore up fuck fake. A we'll do it. Let's do the comedy comedy and fuck a pink thing tour. Is your ah, girlfriend really, really going to be, like, thrilled with you? I got to go fuck a machine in Japan. 
She's a sweet. Is great she, don't at even, all. she don't care. As long as I fucking watch 13 Reasons Why with her on Netflix, <laughs> she's fucking happy. I can, I can do whatever I want. At the beginning of this quarantine, Figs was like, I'm going to knock up. I'm going to knock up my girlfriend. No, I've been doing that. Like, you don't blue. have a job. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I'm on Trump's money, which is the most money I've ever had in my life. <laughs> on, You're living life crotch living. first. I'm living large right now. You should see all the plants in my other room. I ain't playing. It looks like a fucking botanical gardens in this motherfucker right now. <laughs> well, if plants are any indication that you're getting your life together. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Plants and magic the gathering cards. I could kill myself. My life is getting weirdly, not boring, but like I ordered a, a bird bath from Amazon. It's just like a nice, like almost like a stained glass bowl. And it's like, it has chains on it and it hangs from like my fire escape. And today... A bird went in there and drank. The simple thing. Not like I tricked them into it, but it feels like, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, two days, you're two days away from adopting a cat, Chris. <laughs> Did you watch it drink? Oh, or yeah. I, I was like really, really still you're because if I, if, if I get close. If you watched it feed, then you're I'll, getting a cat. I'll get really close to the window and I'll just be still. And then like if they come, like they'll come to the feeder, which I like fill with seed, which they're eating like every day, I gotta refill that shit. And then like now I hung up the bird feeder, like the, the bird bath and it's like tilts a little, which I have an issue with, but, and if I just like, I'm just like still, and then like they can be themselves and I just sort of don't creep them out. That's my life now. <laughs> this is what I do instead of yeah, That's like the same person of a City. guy with a van and candy. You know what I mean? Like, oh, they're feeding now and I can watch Oh, them. yeah. I'm like, do you like that sunflower seed? Yes, eat it. You know? Yeah, all right. All right, Chrissy. Great, great story, Chrissy. Anyways, Randy, what color are your toenails right now? This is what I just got it from one of the viewers. I can't do feet. Oh. They're French. Not into feet? You have oh French God, pedicure? Or oh, retarded hands. God. Get out of here. I'm just jealous that you're... Wow. Oh, my God. I, oh. Oh. Wait, let me see your whole foot. Your whole foot is tattooed? Oh, I did not yeah. see that coming. God, but look yeah, at that's that. That's the only thing I got. I'm oh, blessing you. You are a gem. God bless you. <laughs> I can't believe, Pat, you're not looking at her nice feet. Fuck feet, man. You're the opposite. Right that's what makes me mad at, at porn all day. I, I I find a girl that I like, and then she does foot shit, and I'm like, you cheated on me, bitch. Get the fuck out. Why do you? Why? That's so weird. You should love the whole woman. Yeah. Well, I might you love the I like whole about... woman, but I only want to fuck one part, okay? At the time, don't, go into your like, ex-girlfriend. I can love a woman and all of her, but I don't need to touch her feet. I just don't – I don't need feet. I like sex. I don't need arts and crafts. I enjoy it the way it – get the fuck out yes. of here. Yes. onions. I don't need Patty. any of that shit. No, no, no. Patty I don't have bunions. First of all, calluses Patty. and bunions are different. I'm not yes. looking. I got a callus like that too because of high heels. High heels. And my Patty feet – Patty boy. Yeah. I like short Listen women. I don't give a fuck about high heels. I don't want you to fake tall. Patty, <laughs> go, into, go into your ex-girlfriend's room right now and put her fucking toes in your mouth. I guarantee she's gone. not here. She's I, gone, I, Oh, she's gone. It's All too right, late. Put your mask on I, I would and get not. out of the house. Drive Listen, to your ex I'd rather hike with you at Bear Mountain than put a fucking toe in my mouth any day of the week. <laughs> wow. Oh, Dude, it was a hell of a hike. I'm exhausted. Wow, who Sorry, knew? Bad who segue. Knew? Not in defeat. Oh, always. I, I probably talk about this everywhere I am and people get mad. I just, it's not my thing. I get it. Oh. So what are you into? So what's something you're into that maybe everyone else isn't? I'm really not, I'm, I'm, I'm really not kinky. I'm very basic. I, I'm not really something into a lot of things like that at all. But like, that, yeah, that's probably what it is. I was raised very Irish Catholic, so I'm, I'm not religious at all now. So, I mean, I'm sure Mike's Figs' parents didn't teach him to suck on toes. It's just a thing that... <laughs> No. They might have. I had a rub. My mom would make me rub her feet a lot, and it's like, I've never yeah. turned on. I was never turned on, but maybe that kind of triggered something in my head. I don't know. Oh, in that same regard, if you want to talk about like one thing I like, and I know it comes from like being younger. When I was in school, when I got like seventh, eighth grade, and started nosing girls. I noticed the girls that would wear stockings or pantyhose and wear skirts. Mm. To this day, oh, yeah. it, I don't like feet, but I'm turned on when a girl dresses like that. That's and hot. I know yeah. that's because that's the first thing I was attracted to. So yeah, you rubbing a foot had nothing to do with sex. We all know that. But it is a comfort thing. It does make you feel like there's love involved because it love the same kind of thing. She it's likes that shit. <laughs> yeah, but you know yeah. what? Who gives a fuck? Women love it. <laughs> I, might, I mean, in, you know, the quarantine, I, I might have to fuck my mom. What are you gonna do? You never know. Well, she's she paying for your money in your household. <laughs> yes, yeah, you got somebody in your household. Exactly. <laughs> Bringing it back there around. Hey, Ma, <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you. Get around right. in the household. Listen, I would rather the girl have a foot than not have feet. I don't want stuff. Exactly. So you can have a foot. I just don't need to know about your foot. Hmm. That's all. 
I want to know about I, your feet, Pat. Let's see them. They're terrible. I run. I they're thought. busted. They're awful. I would never <laughs> let any girl go near my foot. Even if you want them, like, go away. That's not fair. I'd make you go get pedicures. Ooh, yeah. I would make yeah. you leave and not come back. That's a fair deal. I would not go get a pedicure. I'm not going to put some oh, Asian Oh, it feels so good. Pain. It's the best. Oh, it's the best. I've turned around my boyfriend's feet fucking 8,000. Wow. I couldn't get one. I can't even get massages. I can't let strangers touch me in any way. I'm not, like, kinda, not in I a crazy you. way. I just don't, yeah. I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. I feel nervous. Trust issues. Yeah. It's not tr Once I know someone, I can, they can do that all day. Really, if I, if I need, if I, when I've been in pain and stuff, someone can massage me, but it's a whole, tr it, it kind of trust, but more just I get nervous and anxious with people touching me because mm. I'm like, don't know how to feel with that. It is, I've got a lot of fucking hangups. We all kind of do, but I could never get a massage from a stranger. I couldn't get a foot. I couldn't do that. You missed it now, bro. I agree. But everyone's okay. got different love. It's like the five. Lo it's the five love languages, right? It's physical yeah. touch, words of affirmation, gifts, acts of service, and quality time. So it's like most people are like it's okay. If if like one or two are not your bag. It's like yeah. that's normal. Someone's been reading bag Cosmopolitan with other shit. a little too much. Shut up! I don't read that trash. That's just... <laughs> oh boy, guys, this was fun. Can I lose weight in four weeks, and the five. Love yeah. I got a question. Cosmopolitan. Okay. I got a question. So, like, this whole, like, mask thing is the fear the fear factor that's, like, been put behind it, right? Um, and, and all the other things. You know how, like, the world is so, um, so fast-paced. Like, like, once another thing hits, like, because, like, I feel like when this, when the riots and everything happened, it's like, corona what? for like a whole week no one talked mm -hmm. about corona and yeah. then all of a sudden it came back and it's like okay now it's the second wave it's like so strategically planned like, out who like, is who is writing obvious. this who is writing this script it's like it's yeah, like they're just but it they're fucking. doing it for the election that's a whole nother podcast yeah. we want to go conspiracies of who's writing okay. oh god it's okay. absolutely for the election it's absolutely to, yeah. to like it's all about this election yeah. the democrats are freaking the fuck out they couldn't impeach yes. him they couldn't get they couldn't tie him to anything that had to do with russia it's, uh, they, they just well, they like, also realized that sniffy joe couldn't debate anybody so you had to hide him and you had to stop the debate so therefore how do we do that we make sure nobody can go out and do anything or see anything senile yeah, yeah. joe he's Biden. not going he, not going he's, he's there should have been Bernie. Should have been Bernie and Trump. It would have been actually. Bernie was bought. Bernie was bought. I yeah. think that's how he got his third fucking mansion. As, well, uh, if they knew yeah. this was happening, they would have kept Bernie. The, the plan to get rid of Bernie was before the whole quarantine and all that. So, mm. therefore, they didn't like the, how he debated and did things. Now they know they could have done that. They thought they could have controlled it differently. But Bernie now, they could have built into the savior that would bring everybody back in. That He could have spoken now, but it's too fucking late. They burned that bridge. Yeah. But if they, if, they, if they kept on to him when this happened, you would trust him way more than you would fucking Sniffy Joe. Like, no way. Yeah, they're trying to make Trump look bad. It's really not yeah. working. It's really it's deep, backfiring. It's, it's turning people who were on the fence. Like, unfortunately, it's like, we, we can't be with the fucking left because they're trying to defund the fucking police and we don't feel protected. Like, businesses and... And people are moving out of Minneapolis like like insane yeah. and that's something the people in charge never expected they probably thought oh well they'll just have to ask for grants and insurance and they'll build back up it's like no they're taking their fucking businesses God. away people are Smart. leaving Minneapolis they're oh. leaving Chicago it's people are going yeah we don't feel supported we don't feel safe and it's a lot of these unfortunately like democratic governors and they're not they I don't know what the fuck their plans are it's just it's I mean, I read those two articles, and I about fuck. I was like, "What am I reading? <laughs> oh, I yeah. hate, what is this?" <laughs> yeah, it's fucking crazy. But I think, it's hey Pat, the conundrum, the conundrum you could have as a person who was raised Catholic and told never to jerk off or you can't go to heaven, and then you read that article and go, "If I don't jerk off." then I'm going to die. So, like, what do they do now? <laughs> they're being told to jerk off and not to jerk off. That's, they're going to explode. Yeah. Like, certain, certain sheep can't handle when you're told what to do by two things. Yeah. Religious people also believe in government. They listen to people all the time. They're getting fucked. Oh, bad. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, right. it'll be hey, interesting Randy. to see. Randy, who do you think's a better lay? Young Biden or young Bernie? Oh. Like, to, to like, lay? Yeah, like, be who's better a better shed? Yeah, yeah, who's better? Yeah. To be honest, I I remember back in the when Biden was running, I thought I was like, yeah, Biden. Um, anything other than who he was going against, I forgot Bush or something. I don't even remember. Um, 
to be honest, I, I don't know. I, that's a fucking fucked up question. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> neither of them are attractive. I can't even. Even, even when they're young. Pat, what do you think? And quick. Who's paying me Pat, more? Yeah. So I'm <laughs> <laughs> Pat, that's the right answer. Same question. Same qu- question, but I throw in young Trump too, Pat. You got oh, young, young Trump. Trump. Young I would fuck younger. young Trump. Okay, first of all, I would really fuck old Trump. Yeah, well, you know what? That man is a dog. He's a genius, and he d- he had money before he even ran for this presidency. So he don't give a fuck. He he is, didn't need anybody's money. He didn't need he shit. Eat your ass. He didn't need he shit. Eat your so ass you know what? He will eat your ass so he can tell people <laughs> he ate your ass. But I think Bernie's the only one who would go down on you. Bernie would care yes. about your coming issues. Oh. Joe, yes. Did you come yet? Are you Joe, there yet? Joe would just well, you know, oh, okay. I didn't come yet. I didn't. <laughs> Bernie would make you come, and then Bernie would even say to you, "Whisper, I can't come on you until you do." Like he would say that. <laughs> My program say, orgasms for burn, all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You well, listen, are. you guys are so smart. I was just like, "Fuck yeah, man! You're right here, man. I'm right there, dude." I'm. Yeah, well, I agree with. We're all woken. We're yeah, awake. so fuck Bernie so we yeah. can watch you in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got I got a badass video idea I'm doing. I just don't. Well, this is gonna come out later. Um, I'm gonna put a mask on, cut a hole in it, and it's gonna be a glory mask hole. Ooh, <laughs> yes. I'm gonna fucking suck with. And where, the mask and where can we where can we find that, Randy? Yeah. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on free on my Pornhub. It's just gonna be free. <laughs> Randy, where can people who are just hearing about you now find you? Where should they check out your work? Where can they support you? All that good stuff. <laughs> so I upload. I have a main website, RandyJames.com, but I also have uh, two OnlyFans. I have a free OnlyFans. This is awesome. And you can find that at xdoll.com. And then also my paid premium OnlyFans, which I think is the complete shit. It's like one whole package and everything. Um, and that's Randy, randy.com. Just randy.com. R-A-H-Y-N-D-E-E.com. You got I it. love it. Pat, hey. what, 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 where can people find you, Pat Oates? Uh, you can, hey. uh, go, to, go to YouTube and subscribe to the Pat Oates channel. I'm putting up stuff all the time. Same thing my Patreon. I'm putting out a bunch of content every week. and. That's it. Love it. Love it. Figs, where can people find your plants? You already know. I'll be on that Home Depot line waiting to get a new succulent plant. Uh, (laughs) You can follow me on King Game, Magic the Gathering. You already. And I'm here on Compound Media, baby. What's up? Chad, I'm coming for you, bitch. (laughs) Oh, watch it. If you haven't checked out the Chrissy Mayer podcast, um, check that out. We have a ton of new episodes on YouTube, Spotify, SoundCloud, iTunes. Leave a review help combat the Asian wave of negative reviews. Um, oh my God. Guys, <laughs> thank you so much. This was a wonderful fucking episode. Uh, hope to see you all soon. Love Ooh. you. Nice meeting you guys. Thank you. Take care.